Call the meeting to order for the Village of Wellington Beach, our board meeting for Monday, March 23rd, 2015. Please call the roll. Trustee Husk. Here. Trustee Valdez. Here. Trustee Smith. Trustee Butler. Here. Trustee Mount. Here. Trustee Mattingly. Here. Mayor Hill. Here. Without the record show of quorum is present, would all please rise and join the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Any additions or deletions to the agenda? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Husk, second by Trustee Mount. Again, any additions or deletions? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? The agenda is approved as written. We have uh, the approval of the March 9, 2015 Council meeting minutes. Any corrections or clarifications? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Butler, second by Trustee Valadez. Once again, any corrections or clarifications to the minutes from March 9th? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Those meetings, minutes are approved. We have no expenditures to approve tonight, no ratifications, so we'll move right, uh, right into our committee reports. Trustee Mount? Well, thank you, Mayor. I do have a SWACO report tonight. Um, just want to let everybody know our household chemical waste collections, so they're year-round at our drop-off uh, facility on Essa Street in Gurney. Um, the one thing I keep wanting to highlight is on April 25th, uh, we will hold our uh, first household chemical waste collection of the year. It's our mobile collection at the Round Lake Beach Metro Station. Uh, this is the first time in three years that we've had it here, so we're excited to have it here. We had over 600 cars, you know, three years ago, so we're hoping we can uh, top that. Uh, so clean out your basements and your garages and bring everything to uh, the metro station on that's April Saturday April 25th um, electronic collections again um, the closest electronic collection is on Berry Street in uh, Gray's Lake uh, you can also take your items to Lake Zurich Antioch there's six locations in Lake County um, the hours in Gray's Lake is uh, Monday through Friday uh, during normal business hours, and they are open on Saturday mornings, 8 to 12. Uh, uh, just follow the signs, and you'll see the drop-off location there. Uh, pharmaceutical and medical waste, we have the bins at the Round Lake Beach Police Station. Uh, clothing and textile collection, we have the bin at the Round Lake Beach Public Works. So uh, we want to make sure that everybody... Yeah, utilizes all the different things throughout the county. Um, the Swaco Reuse a Shoe program is in full swing. Uh, we have over 30 municipalities that are collecting year round. Um, this year we hope to get in excess of 40,000 shoes. Uh, that'll be donated. Uh, a lot of them will go to needy uh, families. A lot of them will be chewed up for playground equipment and things like that. Go to swaco.org, you'll be able to see where all those collection sites are. Uh, for all your solid waste needs, go to swaco.org, and remember, recycle first, trash last. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Mount. Thank you, Trustee. Any other reports from the trustees tonight? We have a few items in our marriage report. First of all, we have the resolution proclaiming April 12th through the 18th, 2015. That's National Telecommunicators Week. That's an honor of our CENCOM staff that, that does this dispatching for police and fire. You can have our clerk please read the resolution. Whereas emergencies can occur at any time that require police, fire, or emergency medical services, and whereas when an emergency occurs, the prompt response of police officers, firefighters, and paramedics is critical to the protection of life and preservation of property. And whereas the safety of our police officers and firefighters is dependent upon the quality and accuracy of information obtained from citizens who telephone the SUNCOM 911 Communication Center. And whereas public safety telecommunicators are the first and most critical contact our citizens have with emergency services. And whereas public safety telecommunicators are the single vital link for our police officers and firefighters by monitoring their activities by radio, providing them information and ensuring their safety. 
And whereas public safety telecommunicators of CENTCOM 911 have contributed substantially to the apprehension of criminals, suppression of fires, and treatment of patients. And whereas each telecommun telecommunicator has exhibited compassion, understanding, and professionalism during the performance of their job in the past year, and therefore be it resolved that the village of Round Lake Beach proclaims the week of April 12th through 18, 2015 to be National Telecommunicators Week in honor of the men and women whose diligence and professionalism keep our village and citizens safe. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. I think we'll give that one Trustee Valadez, second to Trustee Husk. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? That's approved. We'll make sure we get a copy over to the CENCOM staff. Second one is declaring April 12, 2015 as Child Abuse Prevention Month in Round Lake Beach and recognizing contributions by Round Lake Area and Round and Lake County Exchanges Clubs for the contributions in pre preventing child abuse. Whereas Child Abuse Prevention Month has been observed since its first presiden presidential proclamation in 1983, and whereas child abuse and neglect affects children of all ages, race, and income, and is 100% preventable, and whereas national statistics show that one in four children will be maltreated before the age of 18, and whereas children with disabilities are three to seven times more likely to suffer from child maltreatment than children without disabilities. And whereas the rising numbers of reported child abuse cases are consequently cause for great concern and heightened need for increased protection and improved services for abused and neglected children. And whereas most experts believe that actual incidents of abuse outnumbers the current statistics and their indications. And whereas programs offering help can positively impact a family at risk and early assistance is important per, for preventing abuse. Now therefore be it resolved that Mayor Richard Hill and the Village Board of Round Lake Beach hereby declare April 2015 as Child Abuse Prevention Month and recognizes the efforts made by the Exchange Club of the Round Lake area and the Ex Lake County Exchange Club's Foundation for the Prevention of Child Abuse and hereby acknowledges both agencies for their hard work in preventing child abuse throughout our area. Thank you. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Trustee Butler. Second. Second by Trustee Mount. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? That's also approved and we'll pass that on along also. Mayor, it appears that there's a scout in attendance tonight. Maybe you might want to uh, acknowledge that fact. Oh, yes. Okay. Good evening. How are you? <clears throat> Welcome to the Village of Lake Beach. Would you mind uh, standing up, giving us your name and what troop you're with? Uh, I'm with Troop 188. Troop 188? Well, welcome. Good. Uh, the mayor and I, we're both Eagle Scouts, and we like to acknowledge all the Scouts when they come in. And all of a sudden, I saw the neckerchief, and I'm thinking, ah, <laughs> there's a Scout. You working on a, uh, a requirement? Gotcha. Excellent. Thank you very much for coming. Make sure you get the uh, uh, the handouts over there, and that way you can take it back to us, true. Thanks. And the few trustees that are Girl Scouts and Brownies in our younger days, we're glad you came too. Thank you. We like brownies, don't we? Oh, oh no, that's, that's a different story. Uh, Is there a clerk report tonight? No, Thank not. you. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, move on to items of business. Then we have several tonight. First one is item A, an ordinance approving a minor change to a special use permit for the property at 1950 Illinois Route 83. This is the former Midas building. It's gonna be uh, expanded and uh, be a national tire NTB, national tire battery. Uh, they have a brand new design format they came out with, but they proposed to us originally, it was not the design, they'd like to switch over the newer design. As uh, just a minor change, looks much better in my opinion, I think in fact the whole board's opinion that has seen it already. And they're gonna uh, probably hold off until May to begin the project only because the uh, uh, Route 83 project is behind also. So no sense starting that project until they're a little farther along in their process. Did you wanna give a quick synopsis for the audience?
size, the fifty cup that you're still gonna use the cleaner is the size. So all in all, uh, thank you for your support in terms of it being a much better look. And uh, there's a slight uh, bump in elevation to help for people with the roof line, and that's actually gonna give us some nice uh, visibility and presence from down the road. Could you go to the mic, Mike, please? He's not picking you up for the television. Yeah, there you go. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're good. Okay. So, uh, my apologies. But uh, basically, we're going to this look in all our locations that went through Ryan Hunt Street, and the timing was such that this had just been approved by our engineering director to be the design with the new signage and the new facade enhancements. So, all of our Terrific. Is that a palm tree behind that? that <laughs> <line>? <laughs> That's what no, it looks like. We are. We are perfectly based in Florida now. No, that's not. I was going to say, man, I tell you what, I'm really excited yeah. to see you if you're going to bring a palm tree. <laughs> one of my designers in Florida. I think he's in West Palm Beach, so that's yeah. it. Yeah. Yeah. Looking forward With to that. Yes, <laughs> Any questions by the board? No. If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Mm -hmm. Motion by Trustee Manley. Second by Trustee Husk. Please call the roll. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Well, let's hope to keep on track with the Rollins and Route 83 projects so you guys can get on track with your project. Thank you. Know, you. We, we reached terms with our contractor, even including the extra cost of the facade enhancement. Mm -hmm. So we're all set to go there. Terrific. We'll through permitting now and be on our way. Thank you very much. I hear it. Thank you. Over the years. Okay. Thank you. We have item B as an ordinance approving the transfer volume cap in connection with the private activity bond issues and related matters. Uh, each year, the village can use this bonding authority for manufacturing projects or low-income home projects, or we can cede the bonding authority to another entity. Uh, we've been splitting the bonding authority between the assist program for low-income home buyers, uh, presently about 75% of it, and Lake County Partners for manufacturing projects or low-income home projects, about 25% we've been given to them. Uh, Lake County Partners has not had much going on. As you know, the economy has been way down, so they haven't had any manufacturing plants going up or even uh, much in the way of low-income housing. So we're going to keep them at the 25% and give the first-time home buyers assist program 75% again this year. And let's hope next year the economy rebounds a little bit more in Lake County, when more building happens, and we'll be able to go 50-50 again. So the first one is, the uh, first ordinance is for 75% of the bonding authority to go to the assist program. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Both by Trustee Valadez, second by Trustee Butler. Any questions by the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Let's see. Item C is a resolution reallocating 2015 volume cap to build in Buffalo Grove, Illinois. Uh, this is the second ordinance that, uh, giving 25% of our bonding authority to Lake County Partners for manufacturing projects and for low income home projects. If the economy improves again, we'll go back to 50 50. Uh, Buffalo Grove is also a home rural community, and they're the ones that are kind of acting as the go-between for this project. They collect all the volume cap that's available and then uh, work with Lake County Partners to build anywhere in Lake County. Uh, they have uh, companies coming and build. 
Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Motion by Trustee Mount, second by Trustee Husk. Any questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Butler. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Item D is an ordinance amending the official zoning map of the village of Raleigh Beach. Uh, there's a few changes this year. Uh, John, can you quickly run through those? I think there's three major ones. Uh, yeah, three. There was a rezoning uh, on Ferndale Drive near uh, Cedar Lake Road on the northeast corner uh, behind the former Altman's Flower Shop to uh, go from single family to commercial to uh, make that uh, parking lot zoning consistent with uh, the, the principal building that it's serving. In addition, the uh, final PUD designation was added to the Lagoons Area Redevelopment Project that's being undertaken by Lake County Public Works and around Lake Sanitary District. And the last one is the Meyer Project. Um, the uh, final PUD approval is reflected on the zoning map as well. Thank you. I'd like to keep our zoning map up to date. So, and uh, they did a nice job again. Changed those couple items. Now, is there a motion to approve? Mm -hmm. Most by Trustee Maddenly. Second. Second by Trustee Butler. Any questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Item E is a resolution approving an intergovernmental agreement for police records management systems and services. Uh, we're moving forward with a new records management system with a consortium of other communities that have to greatly reduce our cost. I think we're paying like 30% uh, of what we would normally be paying for that. So it's a great deal for us and for the other communities together. Uh, this also increased productivity of our police department. They'll only have to enter the information uh, one time. It'll automatically be able to be shared with the other systems and programs. Uh, so uh, they won't have to enter it multiple times anymore, which uh, alleviates a lot of errors, because once you enter it more than once, you will have oftentimes have more errors in the system. Plus, you save a lot of time. We'll also be able to, the systems will be able to talk to each other a lot better this way also. Any questions by the board? If not, is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Trustee second. Mount, second by Trustee Valadez. Any questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Item F is the ordinance approving the annual municipal budget for the fiscal year 2015 2016. Uh, we actually just sat through the uh, budget hearing a few minutes ago. Got to see where our budget was, where it's going. Our budget's actually about 1% higher for our general fund than it was last year. It's actually 17% higher because we're using uh, reserves to, in order to do some projects in the capital funds and so forth as an overall budget. Uh, but we, it's uh, lean and mean, and it has been for, well, many years now. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. So moved. Second. Second. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a tie. <laughs> Give it to Trustee Mattingly. Okay, we'll give it to Trustee Mattingly. And who was the second then? Give it to Trustee Husk? Yeah. Okay, any questions by the board? Yeah. It's a good budget. I'd like to thank the staff for working on it so hard. I know it's a lot of time goes into this, going back and forth, see where the money is, where it's coming from, what we can cut out, what we need to have, and what we can expand upon that the residents really need. Thank you for all your hard work. If there's no questions, uh, please call the roll. Trustee Valdez. Aye. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Item G has a resolution declaring certain equipment as surplus equipment. Uh, we have some old electronics that are no longer of use to the village and uh, declaring them surplus so they can either be sold or destroyed. A lot of this electronic stuff will most likely be destroyed more so than sold, uh, and uh, hopefully some of it will be recycled. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Second. Most by Trustee Mounts, second by Trustee Butler. Any questions by the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Item H is a resolution approving the appropriation of funds for the lease of a Pitney Bowes meter system. Our uh, lease for our postage meter uh, renews this summer. Uh, we get a little bit of a discount if we renew the lease early, so we're going to be doing that. Even though the uh, mail systems have changed a lot over the years, we do still have a lot of mail going through the village here, so we just still do need the postage meter. It saves us a lot of time and money. Is there a motion to approve? I'll move. Motion by Trustee Mandley. Second. Second by Trustee Husk. Any questions by the board? Mayor, wasn't there a question that we had on this one versus walking across the street? Or we were supposed to get some kind of answer tonight. It's 
Oh, that's going to do oh, a study okay. on it. I didn't have the copy. Okay, yeah. thank you. Any other questions? Please call the roll. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. That's proof 5 0. Item I is a res resolution awarding a bid to Wallace Paving for parking lot and pavement patching in an amount not to exceed $13,980. This is for patching of the village owned properties like the Metro Station, Cultural Center, Village Hall, Police Department, all those areas. The bid actually came in quite a bit lower than what we were expecting, so we were able to do a lot more patching than what we thought we could and get some areas to, uh, so they'll stay in better shape a lot longer and won't need the more extensive work later on. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Trustee Butler. Second. Second by Trustee Valadez. Any questions by the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Butler. Aye. That's approved 5 0. <clears throat> Item J is a resolution approving an award of contract to Brink, uh, Brickman Group Limited in amount of act to exceed $52,029. Uh, this year we separated out our landscaping for the uh, general stuff in the village and uh, the village properties, like the, again, the Metro Station, the Village Hall, Cultural Center. Uh, we're going to have a little bit more intense. Uh, Landscaping done those a little more detailed service to them, so really enhance the appearance of those properties. They've been kind of done so-so, but uh, they really should be done a little bit better since those are our uh, namesakes of our community here. Is there a motion to approve? So moved. Motion by Trustee Mount. Second. Motion by Trustee uh, second by Trustee Butler. Any questions by the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. That's approved 5 0. Item K is a resolution authorizing the mayor to execute the agreement regarding lifeguard services for the Rollick Area Park District. Uh, for many years now, we've been using the Park District uh, for our lifeguard services at Lakefront Beach. They are the experts in recreation, so they uh, really know how to do that. They have a great training program for the lifeguards, and it, it's worked out very well with us, not having to try to hire people and staff it and man it and everything else. They already have those people for their pool, and they just hire more people uh, to help our uh, lakefront park. So it's worked out very well. It's been a good relationship. And, Mayor, just for the record, as with previous years, I will not be voting on this as I am employed by the Round Lake Area Park District in a managerial position. Thank you. Thank you, Trustee Butler. With that being said, is there a motion to, be, to approve? So moved. Second. Well, Trustee Husk, second by Trustee Mount. Any questions by the board? Please call the roll. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. Trustee Butler is abstaining. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Mattingly. Aye. That's approved uh, a four, four. four zero. Actually, I think it's five zero when you abstain, you go with the mm -hmm. group, but let the legal guys figure that out. Mm -hmm. That was the last time of the business. Uh, we do go through these pretty quickly. The, these have all been discussed at our prior committee meetings, so there's been a lot of hashing out before they actually come to the board meeting. When everyone already knows what uh, the situation is, we've all agreed to it, so it goes pretty quickly. It's now open to public participation. Anyone who has a question or comment for the board, please come to the microphone here, give your name and address for the record, either state your comment or ask your question. Well, thank you all for being here tonight, and I hope you do well in your citizenship merit badge. Congratulations on that. Uh, we do have an executive session tonight for probable pending litigation, land acquisition, executive session minutes, and personnel. Is there a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Second. Second. Motion by Trustee Butler. Second by Trustee Mount. Please call the roll. Trustee Butler. Aye. Trustee Mount. Aye. Trustee Manningly. Aye. Trustee Husk. Aye. Trustee Valadez. Aye. That's approved 5-0. Uh, when we come out of executive session, we have on our agenda action on executive session items. We may or may not have any action on those items. Again, you're willing, uh, you're more than welcome to stay, but it's not required. Thank you.